Good afternoon fellow foodies, I hope you guys are doing fantastic and welcome back to another food review. Now today guys I've been to M&S and yes I pulled something out the back here. We've got something really really amazing. Now let's have a look at what we've got. Right guys here we've got some anytime eating dirty burger dough balls. Buttery brioche tear and share with British beef, gherkins, smoky bacon, mozzarella and cheddar, and a tangy burger sauce. I'm going to pop these bad boys in the oven. Now let's have a detailed look at what we've got. Hello guys and welcome back to another food review and today we've got the Dirty Burger Dough Balls from M&S. Now I went to M&S this morning to pick up these dough balls. These are like brand brand new, uh, they're in the frozen section and they actually cost £10. That's a lot of money but these here do serve six people and normally with the M&S stuff it is really, really good quality. So we're gonna dive in, I'm gonna see what all this fuss is all about. I'll give you guys this look. You might have seen the video already. It's fairly, fairly big, so it's nothing, you know, really small. Um, we're gonna just see, I'm gonna test it. We're gonna try it. We've got our own little burger sauce here, which is pretty handy as well. So the beef, actually, for the um, the beef in these um, dough balls are actually inside the little tat and share pieces. So we're just going to take a little dip in there. Mmm, wow. It's literally, it feels like it's like mini burgers. Mmm. Wow. Here you are guys, that short tear and share piece. You get a great texture from the brioche. You've got the beef, you've got the smoky bacon, you've got the gherkins. All in there together. Mmm. Wow. Honestly, these guys are like a 10 out of 10. These would be fantastic for like um just like a pizza evening or a evening inside with the family. That burger sauce is fantastic. I've been to M&S a few times uh, over the last couple of weeks just to get a few little bits to try it and like I keep saying it's extra money but it is also extra quality. Oh. Honestly these brioche tear and share pieces are really cheesy. You've got the gherkins in there, the bacon. Literally it just falls apart. And you have the little burger sauce with it. It tastes like, I've said it already, but it just tastes like mini burgers. And it's really weird. But, it tastes absolutely fantastic. There might be a video uh, later on in the day, guys. I'm just going to see how it goes. Also, Shan's going to be in a video tomorrow, dinner time. We're going to be trying some really extra hot stuff. We're talking Carolina Reaper here. Now, first... First impressions when I seen these dough balls um, in the shop this morning, I was literally like, right, okay, so the £10 is a little bit pricey, but after coming home and tasting them, I think these are absolutely fantastic. They are literally so full of flavour and you really cannot go wrong. I was watching uh, TV the other day and basically this M&S advert come up and it was basically like this blonde guy, this blonde chef, and he was just like, um... Right guys, now we're going to put in some M&S cauliflower, some M&S honey, some M&S this. And I was thinking, shut up, it's just cauliflower. But you had to stick the word M&S into the advert about 50 times. I think we gathered it was an M&S advert. Fuck off! Mmm. This tastes great. I've only had a few pieces and I feel absolutely stuffed, but... In terms of a review's point of view, these are absolutely fantastic. You might be able to see some uh, beef in there. I should be able to anyway. Keeps locking onto my face. If I could give these dough balls a rating out of 10, it's going to be a big fat 10 for me. I think the quality's there and I definitely think the flavour's there. 
a little bit on the uh, price is a little bit high but apart from that these are absolutely fantastic that's going to be the end of today's review guys this is the anytime eating dirty burger dough balls from M&S thanks a lot for watching guys if you're new subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next review <laughs>